Welcome to another Desync tutorial. Desync is a great tool for cloud integration and offers low monthly pricing for joining systems together. In this video, we will be linking two popular systems, WooCommerce and Zoho. Let's get started. First, what we are going to do is add API keys to WooCommerce. WooCommerce, Settings, API, and then Keys and Apps. Then what we are going to do is add a new key. It will need to have read and write permissions. Let's name it Test2. You will not be able to see this afterwards, so it may be best to copy it onto Notepad or straight into Desync. Then we will go into Desync and add a new system. Then select WooCommerce. Copy the consumer key. Then paste into the authorization field in Desync. Then copy the consumer secret and paste into the consumer secret field in Desync. Paste in your WooCommerce store URL. You will need to make sure in your settings field that the API is enabled. Now we will need to set up the Zoho system. In the desync dashboard, create and add another system. We will need to obtain the data from your Zoho account. Visit your active auth tokens section. Copy and paste into desync. This will automatically add Zoho to your desync dashboard. Now we will need to create a relation between the two systems. For this example, we will be linking customer and contacts together. Create the job name. What we need to do first before we prepare the map is we need to edit the data layout. The username and a password are listed as required fields. However, if you visit your WooCommerce settings under Accounts and click on Automatically Generate Username from Customer Email and Automatically Generate Customer Password, it will automatically create those and it will not be needed. Now we can remove them from the data layout. Now on the Zoho side, we will need to set up the cron job. So in this example, we will set the job to run every minute. Let's go in and edit the map. Click on the lines between the system. Then select New Map. As you can see, the only thing that is needed on the Zoho side is the last name. We can add some other fields as well. I will add the first name, the last name, and an email address. And then we will save the map. Now let's switch directions and so the destination is WooCommerce. And if we select Pairing Map, it will replicate the pairing in the opposite direction. Now the two systems have been mapped, 
we will need to visit WooCommerce to confirm the webhooks have been created. Under API and then under Webhooks. As you can see, we have three webhooks that are active. Now it is time to test the integration. If we visit our WooCommerce store and create a new customer, for the example, we will call the customer Billy Bob. As we place the order, we can see how quickly the data is synchronized across into Zoho. As we visit our Zoho account, we can see that a new customer, Billy Bob, has been added to the Zoho application. When changes are made in Zoho, for example, we change the name to Robert, if we move back to our WooCommerce site under Users, Billy Bob has been updated to Billy Robert as per our CRM update. We can also go into Zoho and create a new contact. For this example, let's call the client Gen Corona. Almost instantly, the data will be processed and updated in the WooCommerce platform. Thank you for watching another Desync tutorial. If you have any questions or would like support in setting up your data synchronization, please let our team know. Desync can update multiple systems at the same time and specializes in easy-to-use data mapping. For more information, please visit desync.com.